In this project, we're going to start with an image from Pixabay. It's available on Pexels.com. We're going to download the medium size of 1280 by 851. So working with a very manageable file size. We're going to do some modifications to this image. We're going to reduce the vibrance because it's very, very vibrant. We're going to desaturate it just slightly. And we're going to apply an oil paint filter and we're going to flip the image horizontally. And in doing those four things, we're going to transform the image from this to this image that looks like an oil painting. Some of the magic of Photoshop. Let's jump over to Photoshop. I have the image open in Photoshop, and as you've seen me do in previous projects, I'm going to duplicate my layer. In this case, I'm going to drag that background layer down to the plus sign. You can also right click on it and choose duplicate, or control click and choose duplicate. I'm going to click on the background copy here and name this oil painting. I mentioned previously that I think there are three keys to mastering Photoshop, and that is making adjustments, making selections, and working with layers. In this unit, and the projects that we're doing here in this unit, we're focusing on the adjustments. I can't really make adjustments outside of also using selections and layers a lot of times. So I'm demonstrating a little bit with layers, and in the previous I demonstrated a little bit with selections. We're gonna focus more heavily on selections and layers in the future units. And we'll do some more adjustments. And we're going to see as we work with layers later, there's a better way to do adjustments, and that is with adjustment layers, which makes it a little bit less destructive than modifying a layer directly with an adjustment. But for now, we're making adjustments to a layer directly, and we'll focus more on selections and layers in the near future. Our image is very vibrant. We reduce that down just a little bit by going to the image menu, adjustments, we're going to go to Vibrance. I'm going to bring the Vibrance slider down to the left. I think about a minus 20. Just mutes it a little bit. And for the saturation, I'm going to bring that down to about a minus 3. Sometimes our adjustments can be very, very slight. I'm going to click OK. Now, I've mentioned before that Photoshop is sort of like doing magic. Photoshop can do a lot of really cool things for us. And in this most recent version, we have things like generative artificial intelligence and artificial intelligence features that we can take with a frown and turn it into a smile. Some of the cool features that have been around for a long time. And some of those are our filters. We'll explore the filters more in a future unit. But for now, I'm going to go down to filter, down to stylize and choose oil paint brings up a dialog and you can play around with the sliders here to get what you think is the best oil painting or your the way you would maybe create an oil paint. I'm going to take the slider for saturation and bring it way down in my case. And notice you can see a little bit of a preview here. I'm going to go 1.2. I'm going to bring the cleanliness up Uh, 5.7. The scale is basically our brush size. I'm going to bring that down. I think maybe about 2.4. And the brush detail, give me kind of those lines that we see from the brush. I'm going to bring this way up. I think about an 8.5 gives me kind of a dramatic oil painting almost like I used a knife here on these mountains you can play around with the lighting I'm not going to bother with that and determine how much shine there should be on this painting I'm going to bring this back down to about where it was I think it was at about 1.0 I'm going to bring it up just a little bit when you get the settings that you want just click OK now we've gone from our photograph which was the background layer 
by hiding the oil painting off. I'm going to turn the oil painting layer back on. So we've gone from the photograph and made it an oil painting. Now one thing I want to do is I'm going to flip this so the cabin is over here on the left hand side. And for that we can go to the Edit Menu, Transform. I want to make sure I'm on my oil painting layer. And there's a flip horizontal. It's that easy. There's our mountain oil painting. And we can save this as a PSD file. So I'm going to name it BO4 Mountain Oil and my last name. And I have one previously saved, so I'm just going to say 2. We're going to go back to the file menu and choose Save As or Save As Copy. And I want to make this a JPEG. That will compress all those layers into one, make a much smaller file size that I could then use on a web page or maybe in the software package as an asset if I'm doing some programming, or put it into a newsletter. And I'll leave the settings here as 8 for high. Click OK. And that's our project. If you'd like to see more videos in the Photoshop Practicum playlist, click the title at the bottom. If you'd like to be alerted to new videos, please click my photo in the top right to subscribe to the channel.